So this is the yo that the rams all bred with. So I don't know who the daddy is and it could be related to her because I have several rams that would be related to her. So sadly I'm gonna have to castrate these lambs because I don't want to use them for breeding and it would cost too much to get them genetically tested to see if they were or were not uh, related to her. But they're both stonkingly great lambs. And she's a very, very good mother, as you can see. She's standing very stationary as her lamb suckles. Her other lamb fast asleep with a full belly at her feet. So this is what you always want to see as a shepherd. Full bellied lambs and suckling babies when they're only hours old. So if she does well and the lambs do well, I will turn them out tomorrow. It might be cold, but it'll be dry and they have a shelter in this paddock that I'll be putting them into. It's always sweet, the tail flipping about the place as they suckle. You're a good mama, aren't you? Good, good mama. Lambs sleep in the most awkward positions. And you're like, don't, wait, won't you get a crick in your neck? But they don't. So, nice sign of contentment. You can see her eyes. She's very aware that the dogs are just outside the door. And she's staring at the door to make sure no animal or dog comes in. She'll attack to defend her newborn babies. Very strong defensive mechanisms in new mothers. Hungry baby. <laughs> She's almost putting her head on her new lamb that's not suckling, saying, I'm protecting this baby from this awful human who's trying to video it. You want baby privacy, is that what it is, Mama? Oh. You're such a beautiful girl. You can see her distinctive scar on her nose is the same scar of the yo who the rams were covering in August ahead of breeding schedule. So I know it's her that was the uh, one that the rams were covering. Look at you. You're so sweet. And you're so protective of your babies. You're such a good mama. Such a good mama. <laughs>